Today, we're taking a look at the JBL On Beat Venue LT. The LT stands for Lightning because this is one of the first wireless speakers that supports the Lightning connector. That, of course, is the connector that now ships on the iPad Mini, iPad 4th generation, iPhone 5, the latest iPod Touch. So anything that has the Lightning connector will not only function with this speaker, but it'll also get charged up. Now, this speaker also features Bluetooth, which means you can connect with other devices, non-iOS devices like Android phones, like my Nexus 4 over here. So there are many ways of interfacing with this speaker. In terms of the unboxing, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. You've got a little bit of paperwork from JBL. There's a little box which houses the power adapter and then, of course, the speaker itself and a power cable. Taking a closer look at the Venue LT, you'll notice it has a streamlined design, which I'm a big fan of. And if you're not using the Lightning connector, so if you're not using an iOS device, you can hide this little tray and actually end up with a very sleek design and still be able to interface with the device using Bluetooth, as I said earlier. Um, as we move around to the top, you'll notice that's where all the buttons and all the indicators are. You have buttons to control the amount of bass as well as the input selector. Volume is up there as well. On the back, you have two bass ports. That's always a good sign. That always shows you that you're going to have some decent bass response coming out of a speaker. And this, as I mentioned before, is the power brick. Fairly portable, not a huge power brick. And this will hook up to the power cable, so you get a decent amount of extension from the wall. On the top, that's where you're going to see all the buttons. So there's a button that controls bass output, as I said earlier. You can go for more bass, less bass, whichever is your taste. And then there's a movie button to enhance you know, watching movies on your iPad or otherwise. There's an LED indicator here which lets you know which mode you have selected, whether it's the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack on the back, Bluetooth, or the lightning connector. The power button is to the right of the device, and this is also where you'll find the always important volume rocker, so you can increase and decrease the volume in that location. What I do like here is that the lightning connector is spring-mounted, so you, know, you can be a little bit more rough with it and not worry about it snapping off. The back is where you'll find the auxiliary input that I mentioned earlier, and here's a closer look at one of those base ports. So let's go ahead and put an iPhone 5 into the Venue LT and get an idea of just how it sounds. After all, this is a speaker, and I, I try to do my best to give you guys an idea of how the music is represented. It is difficult to portray through a YouTube video, but nonetheless, I will attempt to do so. So this is a Zoom H2n, which is one of my favorite audio recording devices, very high fidelity. So I'm gonna hit the record button here, and then I'm going to hit play on one of my favorite tracks in my SoundCloud, and you guys can get an idea of how this thing sounds. So hopefully you guys can tell through that little demo what this speaker is capable of. It's definitely got room filling sound and a surprising amount of low end and bass for a portable unit. So if you guys are interested in getting a portable speaker, a wireless speaker, either to use with Bluetooth or with your brand new generation iPhone, iPad or otherwise, this is definitely worth looking at. If you guys are interested in pricing and availability, check out the link down in the description. That'll give you all the details you need to know on the JBL Onbeat Venue LT. Anyway, guys, thanks as always for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.